Hello my lovelies, welcome to this week's tutorial from Taff Rocks. Now spring is springing, bulbs are coming up, the lambs might be bouncing around fields, it's going to be amazing. So what I thought I'd do this week is, as Easter's coming as well, why not start with a little chick? Now this little chick, I don't want to create him in yellow. I want to do an orange, but the oranges that I do have are a little bit dark. So I'm really hoping that amongst my stash of paint pens that I have here, I can find a suitable colour orange. Follow me and let's go and have a look if I actually find one. This little chick is going to be so cute. His head is almost a triangle, but each of the points is really rounded. You don't want the points. Now his body, nice big plump body and his little wings start at the neck, come down and go back up and touch the body, start at the neck, come down, go back up and touch the body, sorted. His feet, flippers, whatever you want to call them. I'm not going to do them so they look like a duck. I'm actually going to give him little booty feet because I think little booty feet look so sweet. And there he is so far. I've been searching everywhere in my collection for a pale orange. I didn't want to do him in yellow and I wanted him in orange but I needed him in an orange that was so pale you could see other details and I think this might be it. The good thing about him being this colour is you guys can see him much better anyway. His little booty feet is going to be in this colour orange. And when he's all dry we'll come back and we'll put some extra details on him. Do you know what I think I'm going to do? At the top by here, I'm going to give him some orange hair. Why not? He's got a bit of a sideshow bob top knot, but he's looking good so far. Our little chick now needs some eyes, so big circles or ovals in white. I appreciate that you won't be able to see these just yet but make sure that it's a really good coverage he needs a little beak a little orange beak an upside down triangle let's go and tidy up these outlines and give his weirdy hairdo some outlines of their own let's give him a bit of a fringe or for our cousins across the pond some bangs. Now he looks a bit flat. Of course his eyes aren't there yet. So, oh, did I do his arms? No. He looks a bit flat. So, we're going to put some little white lines going around the outside of his little tummy. You could put as many or as few as you like. Go around in a circular motion. We can add some extra lines here. And here. So I'm going to wait for him to dry off properly. Then I'm going to finish these eyes. This sweet little thing is in desperate need of some eyeballs. So I'm going to use a paint pen. Once they dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put some little white dot highlights on. And then whilst it is drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the bottom half of this in green and then give it some sky blue so you can see him better. This little sweetie pie is almost ready. He's got a little bit of something going on at the back so you can see him better. 
All that's left is two little highlights on each eye and he's done. Now I could go around the eyes with a black fine liner but I've got to be honest I've done this in the past and it looks like he's got two black eyes so I'm not going to do that. The same too with the beak I'm going to leave that as it is. He is perfect as is. I think I found the right colour and I think this little beastie is a handsome beastie. I'm not going to say cute, I say cute too often, but he's handsome. Let's have a look at him, shall we? I'm glad now that I painted the background, even though it's just the blue sky and the green grass. I'm glad I done it because he stands out far better than just on plain white. You can create this little guy on anything you want. If you do create this little guy, let us know. Share a picture of it on our Facebook group. I'll put the address at the bottom here. So we can have a look at everybody's sweet little spring chicks. If you've enjoyed this week's video, guys, please don't forget to like and share it with your friends. If you'd like to help the Taff Rocks channel out, there's some links in the description box below for Patreon, Ko-fi, and an Amazon wish list. Before you leave today, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, click our little notification bell so you know when we've got new projects. Until I see you next time, guys, keep on creating, keep on being amazing, and ciao for now!